No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are just tuning in, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency and I also have my own coaching business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to get your first client, how to start your agency, build it up, scale it, automate it so that you can live life on your own terms and earn money online from your laptop regardless of which place, city or country you are in. And obviously, you know, I've got the Lifestyle Design Community, which is a free Facebook group where we basically all get together, share ideas and, you know, basically help each other get started with our own social media marketing agency. And um, one of the common uh, issues I see when people are just starting out is that when they do outreach, they get a lot of people uh, saying that they are not interested, uh, just ignoring them as well or telling them uh, to basically like, you know, to unsub tell them to get them to unsubscribe them from the list and stuff like that even though you know they're just sending out an email um the you know the potential clients just assume that they're on some kind of email list and they keep telling them you know get me off the list remove me from the list don't email me again stuff like that and uh, when i ask you know because when people ask me for advice i ask them okay so what is it that you send how often do you send it how often do you follow up and how many uh, businesses are you reaching out to on a daily basis because these are like common uh, numbers factors and metrics that you just need to know when you are doing outreach okay some people say to me i'm doing uh, anywhere between five to ten businesses a day and yes you know that is consistency that is uh, a consistent amount of outreach but that is only 300 businesses a month and again like i said that can be enough to get your first client or to get a client but if you are struggling to do outreach then maybe you just need to do more of it okay so rather than 10 businesses try 50 businesses a day and yes that is a lot of work you will need to find ways to automate it or to outsource it uh, delegate you know there is ways of doing it but with that said you know if you are reaching out to that many many businesses and they are still saying no they are still saying they're not interested then maybe it is your outreach method and that is what i want to talk to you guys um about today because what I see a lot of people doing is they sell the service from message number one. Okay, and this goes for cold calling, cold email, cold Facebook messenger outreach, cold Instagram DM, cold LinkedIn outreach. What they do is they sell the service right away. So the email will look something like this. Hi, uh, my name is, and then your name. I own a social media marketing agency where I help uh, X type of businesses get Y type of results, okay? So I help um, e-commerce businesses get more sales through Facebook ads. I help dentists get more appointments through Facebook ads. I help car dealerships get more leads through Facebook ads, okay? Um, is this something that you might be interested in or I've got an idea for you, let's hop on a call. Um, what else do I see people saying? Um, you know, is this something that you might be interested in? Um, would you like a free consultation call? And they immediately go into um, like the service. So they immediately start pitching their service. And to be really honest, if I get an email like that, uh, I'm trying to think, have I gotten an email lately like that? Uh, yeah, so late, um, the last email that I got was for someone that does uh, promotional videos. Um, by the way, quick side note, I always reply, or I almost always reply. I try and reply to as many as possible. If I get an email like that from someone within the community or even outside the community reaching out to me um, with this service and they do, you know, basically go right into the service, I do obviously say that I am not interested because I've been on that other side of the spectrum. I know how annoying it is to get ignored when you're doing outreach because you'll stay on that list. So what I do, uh, I'm going a bit off track here, but what I do is I follow up until I get a no. So if the people ignore me, they're just on that, they're still on that outreach list and I will just consistently follow up until they say, you know, I'm not interested. So because I know that, I do the same. When people reach out to me, I say no right away because then they can stop following up and it's done there. You know, it takes two seconds to say no, I'm not interested. And then, you know, they know that they don't need to waste their time on me ever again. But with that said, um, obviously, you know, we got a bit off track there. But with the outreach, what I do when reaching out to the businesses is I don't sell the service, okay? Because they might not even want Facebook ads. They might not even have a problem. They might not even need a solution because, you know, they are doing fine as is. So what I do is I try and get something that is slightly lower 
um, with a lower barrier to entry. For example, I say that I've got a few ideas uh, with regards to their socials, or I say that I seen something that um, you know I thought was quite concerning with their socials. So you pique that interest, and I ask them, you know, is it okay if I send over a quick video? Okay, so that's very low barrier to entry. All they need to say is yes, you know, send over that video, and then you know they're not committed to anything. They're not going to hop on a sales call. It doesn't cost any time on their part. All they are saying is, yes, it's okay to send a video. And only then do I send a Loom video with uh, some ideas that I have got for their socials. If you want to know what I say in the Loom videos, I highly recommend you check out uh, my own Loom video. I will, I'll probably not link in the description box down below because I will forget. So just type in Joshua Dangle SMA Loom and it'll, I think it's like one of the top. It's like... Um, it's like one of my like top ranked videos at the moment. Uh, a lot of people are looking into that video, uh, which is obviously great because that's the main reason of doing it, you know, to provide value to you guys. But uh, only then do I send them a Loom video. And in that Loom video, I basically mention a few things that they are doing right, a few things that they are doing wrong. I compare that with a competitor. And then, then only then, if they are still interested and they want to know more, I add a call to action and say, listen, if you want to know more about this, because I do value your time, so I'm not going to ramble on for, uh, you know, for 30 minutes in this video. Um, if you want to know more about this, then let's hop on a call. Again, no strings attached. It's just a consultation call. And then on that call, if they find it interesting, I can say, listen, you know, this is something that we do. This is something that we can uh, take off your hands and, you know, basically, uh, provide you with a return on investment, okay? So the barrier to entry is very, very low and constantly you build them up uh, and you get them through that value ladder. So you start off with an email saying, um, I, I say email because that is my preferred method of outreach, um, email, and then from there I ask them, is it okay if I send over a loom? From there I say, is it, you know, if you wanna know more about this, let's hop on a call. And then on the call I say, listen, you know, this is something that we can do. Uh, would you like to work together on this, okay? So consistently, it's very low barrier to entry, micro commitments all the way, but they don't feel like they're being pitched something. They don't like that they're being, that they're being sold to because that is another thing, guys, like people love to buy, but people hate being sold to. And especially people that are in the sales uh, themselves, for example, car dealerships, if you start being salesy with car dealerships, they will basically, you know, put up a defense, uh, you know, put up a wall because they are used to selling themselves. So they know all those tricks. They know exactly what you're trying to do, how you're trying to uh, get them from a, a cold uh, prospect to a close and so on and so forth. So people don't like being sold to, but they love to buy, okay? So make sure you get those micro commitments and that you don't uh, pitch your service right away because it won't work and you'll get a lot. Yes, you know, obviously, um, it does sort of split those who are just uh, window shopping, tire kicking, etc., from those that are actually interested. But you'll notice that you'll get more people interested if you do it this way, okay? So ask them if it's okay to send over a video. If they say yes, you know, because obviously you don't need to create a hundred. Um, send, you know, let's say 100 emails and, you know, every single email says it's okay to send over a video. Let's say 20 because that's, you know, roughly my um, reply rate. 20% of them reply with, um, you know, yes, send it over. So I'll send 20 looms and then from there, it's like one in five uh, will go for a call. And then um, obviously, you know, a few will ignore you, a few will drop off, a few will say they're not interested. But at least, you know, that way you will get a higher response rate and you'll book more meetings as well. Okay, so uh, if you enjoyed this video or if you want to know more about how to do outreach, how to start your own social media marketing agency, I do have my own coaching program. From April 1st, it will no longer be a subscription-based product. It will be a one-time upfront payment because I want to work with those who are committed and that those are willing to invest in themselves, okay? So now, if it's, you know, because it's not, not April 1st just yet, you can still get in on the payment plan, which is a small monthly subscription for 12 months, and you'll basically get 12 months of coaching from me. You'll get access to me via WhatsApp, uh, so literally like 24-7 WhatsApp support from me personally. You will also get access to the WhatsApp group, the Lifestyle Design Mastery course, and also access to the weekly group calls, which are usually on Sunday evening uh, between seven and eight o'clock and um, Dutch time okay so hope you enjoyed this video hope you got some out of it comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video